8. This is Georgia Power Company's 2013 IRP, an application for decertification of plant branch units 3 and 4, plant McManus units 1 and 2, plant Kraft units 1 through 4, plant Yates 1 through 5, and plant Boulevard 2 and 3. Uh, before we get into intervening parties, we will start with public witnesses. First on the list is we're honored here to have uh, Representative Rusty Kidd, Georgia representative from District 145. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, see if I can spend more time with y'all sometimes. I'm having my folks with uh, my family back home, but it's always a place to be with a distinguished group, whether it be here or in Gainesville or wherever it might be. Uh, I'm going to be a little different this morning. Uh, as a politician with a microphone, I'm going to be very brief. Uh, y'all know that uh, my position as far as it goes to solar energy. Uh, and very interested in solar energy, and wish we could find a way to call it brand new closing. But I know the expense of Georgia Power to try to get it upgraded, which they're probably willing to do if they knew the long term results of burning coal was going to be uh, the way we'd be able to do it. But they don't know the long term out, uh, out to begin with burning coal, and they don't want to outlay the money. Uh, on the come, hoping that uh, the, the feds might re reverse themselves and emit more burning of coal in the future. Um, that's the unfortunate reality that plant oil branch is facing. And obviously, if it does close, uh, and, and when it does close, it'll be a significant impact to Putnam County, more so than Baldwin County, and also represent Putnam County, and the loss of you know, 15, 20 million dollars a year in tax revenue. Uh, that's a su substantial burden. Um, individual who lives across the street from me uh, on Lake Sinclair works out of his home. Uh, he got his house up for sale now. He loves it. He just had his second child born. Loves living down there, loves his house, loves the lake, loves the area. But he's selling his house because he knows in his heart that when Plant Branch closes, Putnam County doesn't have a choice but to raise taxes. And uh, working out of his home and so forth, he doesn't know if he can afford uh, the lifestyle he's enjoying right now. He has to pay a whole lot more taxes. So I'm sure the other people in Putnam County that feel like he is, he does, and that uh, a further drain on Putnam County uh, in the area. We hope that encourage that uh, if Bank Branch does close, that the Public Service Commission can work diligently with Georgia Power and urge them to use that land. Uh, for solar energy, uh, for something else that might help, if nothing else, give a psychological boost to the community. Uh, all of us know that uh, solar is, is there, it's going to be here, it's a uh, source of energy that's going to be there forever, uh, opposed to uh, coal and, and gas and so forth. And while it's a new kid on the block to a degree, uh, hopefully that uh, uh, Georgia Power will look at it through y'all's interest and, and look at seriously look at building a solar grid, solar panels on the property at Plant Branch uh, to generate electricity. Um, that can be less expensive for people who voluntarily want to sign up for it. Uh, so I can't help but think that um, once the majority of coal burning plants are closed, then gas has a monopoly. The price of gas is going to go up at the same time. Uh, therefore, cost and, uh, the cost of energy to go up. So I hope y'all would seriously look at urging Georgia Power to use that property um, for solar energy panels and so forth in the near future. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner. Representative Kidd, you heard.